in the case of copper <coughs> copper does not react with dilute hcl how can we identify copper does not with, react with the dilute hcl in the case of copper no bubbles were seen and the temperature also remained unchanged temperature also remained unchanged when we are adding the magnesium to the hydrochloric acid temperature also will be uh, increased temperature also will be increased how can we identify the temperature with the thermometer we can identify when we are keep the uh, thermometer into the test tube the temperature will be raised okay here in the case of copper in the case of copper no bubbles were seen no bubbles were seen and the temperature temperature also remained unchanged temperature also remained unchanged in the case of copper no bubbles were seen and the temperature also remained unchanged from this we have to identify this this shows that copper does not react with dilute hcl that copper does not react with dilute hcl dilute hcl hydrochloric acid so copper won't be react with dilute hcl and next one aquaresia what is the aquaresia here aquaresia here reaction metal with acid reaction we can identify by the bubbles if bubbles will be fastestly bubbles will be formed means that is a that metal will be react very fastly if bubbles will be not formed means that metal will be not react with acid in the case of copper it won't be does not react with dilute hcl why because no bubbles were seen and the temperature also remained unchanged so when we are adding the magnesium metal to the hydrochloric acid temperature will be raised so by the thermometer we have to identify and the bubbles will also very fastly formed here what is the aquaresia already we know the about the aquaresia okay 3 to 1 ratio mixture of concentrated hcl and concentrated hno3 mixture that is called aquaresia once again the mixture of concentrated hcl concentrated hcl means hydrochloric acid and concentrated hno3 hno3 means nitric acid the mixture of concentrated H hcl and concentrated hno3 is called aquaresia so that mixture ratio is a 3 to 1 3 to 1 3 ratio is a hcl one ratio is a concentrated hno3 both are concentrated hcl also concentrated and hno3 also concentrated <coughs> it can dissolve the gold and platinum aquaresia is a highly corrosive in the aquaresia generally gold and platinum that are dissolved in the aquaresia aquaresia means 3 to 1 ratio 3 to 1 ratio mixture of concentrated hcl and concentrated hno3 hydrochloric acid and nitric acid the ratio of hcl and hno3 is 3 to 1 this is called aquaresia this is called aquaresia it can dissolve can we dissolve gold and platinum it means platinum gold and platinum aquaresia is a highly corrosive 
highly corrosive so gold and platinum can dissolve in aqua regia okay this is about the aqua regia and uh, when metals react with acids to produce hydrogen gas and corresponding salt but uh, HNO3 when metal react with HNO3 it won't be produce the hydrogen gas because of HNO3 is a strong oxidizing agent it will be oxidizes into the hydrogen to the water that's why it won't be react and itself also it reduced any of the other nitrogen oxides and copper does not react with dilute HCl in the case of copper no bubbles will see and the temperature also remained unchanged so copper does not react with acids <coughs> hydrochloric acid dilute hydrochloric acid especially here copper does not react with dilute HCl what is aqua regia? 3 is 2 ratio of the concentrated HCl and HNO3 is called aqua regia. In the aqua regia, gold and platinum can be dissolved in it. Okay, thank you.